استاذ الدكتور عاصم جزاكم الله خيرا والان موعدنا مع اخونا الفاضل استاذ دكتور هشام عوض لالقاء كلماته الكريمه في المؤتمر بتاعنا وبشكره على جهده في تنظيم المؤتمر مع الاستاذه الدكتوره نهال وكل الاخوه المشاركين في في انجاح هذا المؤتمر وبشكر الساده التشير بيرسون كل اساتذتنا الموجودين معانا والاخوه الحضور واهلا بكم ومرحبا اخونا الاستاذ دكتور هشام عبد هيكلمنا عن الالفو فاكت ساينتفيك بيس اند يوزز اتفضل دكتور هشام بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This talk is sponsored by Pharmacon, uh, and uh, the, this is a company uh, which uh, is responsible for the Alveofac. Uh, we start by a, a little bit of history. When uh, what's the history of lung surfactant? This uh, starts in the 1805. When Young and Laplace, we are aware with Laplace, but it's actually Young and Laplace first formulated the formula for estimating the pressure needed to open a viscous organ, and it is a pressure equal to T, it's a surface tension on the radius, and this uh, will implicate the importance of the radius in determining what the pressure needed to open a viscous. Then uh, in uh, 1929, uh, it was shown that the porcine lung demonstrate that the surface tension is low in the porcine lung, uh, uh, which are born premature. And in 46, they first discovered the dipyrimethylphosphatidylcholine. In uh, 47, uh, the link between the surface active uh, substance were shown to reduce the pressure required for lung aeration. Uh, in uh, the 50s, they demonstrated that the pulmonary surfactant influenced the surface tension of the lung volume. <clears throat> Uh, we all, uh, we all, all neonatologists are acquainted with Avery. This is the editor in chief of uh, Avery Etel, the textbook of neonatology, and he was uh, the one who discovered the pathophysiological mechanism of RDS and stated that it is due to the lack of pulmonary surfactant. They found that lack the lung of a neonate who died of RDS had a sur higher surface tension than the neonate who died of non-RDS causes. And uh, in the year, in early, in the 60s, this was a turning point, the delivery of a son to uh, Kennedy, and this son died from uh, the halal membrane disease. And this incited the investigator all over the world to start working on a substance which can help in managing this. And in the year 65, this was the first clinical trial of the use of dipalmethylphosphatidylcholine as a spray method for the first time. It was not effective. In 70s, uh, Robertson and Adam reported the natural uh, pulmonary surfactant formulation was effective in animal model. And King's described surface ac the, the surfactant proteins, uh, which are important in the spread of the surfactant. Uh, Fujiwara was the first one to uh, use pulmonary surfactant successfully in Japan. He was studying in America, and when, once back in Japan, he formulated a product called surfactant uh, TA and uh, reconstitute and use it in 10 neonate with RDS mean gestation age of 30 weeks and this was a great success. Uh, this was the first time of successful use. Uh, then in Stockholm in Sweden, Robertson teamed up with Kurt Stad to produce a porcine surfactant and they name it according to their name. Huh? Uh, Kurtstad and Robertson, half of this and half of this, and they named it Curosurf. Curosurf from the name of the two authors, that's one of the most notorious surfactants we are using in Egypt, the uh, Curosurf, and this, it's history. 
what's the composition of surfactant system, 80% phospholipids, 10% neutral lipids, 8 to 10% protein, a small portion of the surfactant is protein, but essential for the function of this precious material and 2% carbohydrate and iron. And this is the liquid fraction with the different constituents, the uh, diphosphatidyl palmitylcholine is 40 to 45 percent. Uh, these are the different phospholipids uh, incorporated, and these are the different proteins incorporated into surfactant, surfactant-associated proteins. Four types are uh, up till now recognized, the surfactant protein A, B, C, and D. They are different than uh, molecular weight. Uh, a and D are extremely hydrophilic. B and C are extremely hydrophobic. Up till now, <clears throat> the hydrophilic surfactant protein A and D uh, are lost during the manufacturing process as a result of the organic solvent and chromatographic method. The hydrophobic surfactant protein B and C uh, with the surface active lipids remain intact depending on the preparation. This is the structural uh, picture of the surfactant of the surfactant protein. Uh, this is structural picture. This is the N terminal and C terminal, and this is uh, a scanning electron microscopy showing in the lung uh, in the how surfactant is accumulated and packed. It is concentric, arranged layers and tightly packed. It is packed. It is not simply secreted. And this packing is done in a multi-layered surface film. As we see here in the multi-layer surface film, the packing of the surfactant. It is not merely the production, but the production and the packing. And we will see how important is the packing of the surfactant for the normal surfactant action. Surfactant, it is essentially uh, an anti-atelectatic factor. Uh, that's up till now uh, the, the, the main role of its use. Uh, the application of surfactant lead to improvement of oxygenation, aeration distribution, and the pulmonary respiratory mechanism uh, is improving with increasing FRC, enlarged of tidal volume, and drop in the alveolar opening pressure. Uh, it acts as an anti at a lactatic factor, decreasing the risk of air leak syndrome and enhance in the long-term surfactant therapy leads to increased survival rate. Uh, so um, the classic viewing of the constituent of the surfactant is a phospholipid, which act by reducing the surface tension, the uh, surfactant protein B and C, which accelerates the uh, film formation by stimulating absorption and spreading of the air-water interface of the surfactant, A and D are for local immunity. This was the old concept, we'll see that this has been modified. The old concepts, the E and D switch molecules between innate and acquired immune defense, and they are helping for virus neutralization, removal of bacteria, fungi, and regulation cytokine release, and uh, down regulation inflammation. Actually, this is a new concept, a very new concept, which, which looks at the, uh, uh, the surfactant globally, and both the lipid and the proteins are sharing in the defense mechanism, not only the surfactant protein A and D, but surfactant protein A, C, and D, all are here, and they affect the growth and viability of the microorganism, and in addition, even the lipid together the protein they inhibit the microbial in infectivity. That's to say one of the most important factors of surfactant, not only is the surface tension lowering, but the defense mechanism uh, to combat the infection, both the lipid component and the protein component has got an important antibacterial effect and uh, inflammatory modulating effect. The structure uh, the, uh, for the surfactant the phospholipids themselves, although providing the molecule critical for the reduction of surface tension in the alveolus, they do not have the property inheritance of surfactant. That's to say, it is the essential part, but it has got no uh, functional characteristic of the surfactant unless 
unless there is, be, why? Because it is a highly organized gel crystalline, the phospholipid molecule alone failed to rapidly spread and re-spread during compression and decompression. Where is the compression, decompression? The compression and decompression is present in each respiratory cycle. In each expiration, there is compression of this layer and each inspiration there is <clears throat> Uh, decompression. So if there is no proper packing system for this surfactant, it wouldn't function. And here lies the importance of the surfactant protein. Their adsorption rate to surface are slow, as they do not generate the stable surface tension, lowering film necessary to maintain the surface for forces during respiratory cycles. These surfactant protein B and C interact with the phospholipid to produce a unique physical characteristic during the respiratory cycle. And this, it is all about packing. How do you pack your active ingredient? If you do not pack it properly, you cannot use it properly. This packing, here, here is a, a cartoon which shows that during expiration, when the volume is declining, there is folding of this membrane, not a, a normal fold, but folding in this manner, so that this layer is transformed from a single layer to multiple layers, as you have seen in the initial scanning electron microscopy of the surfactant after production in the lung. It is arranged in layer. And then when there is expansion of the lung, there is spreading of this layer. This layer is a continuous one, multi-layered, multi-layered, so that you will ensure that during the subsequent respiratory cycle, the proper spreading of the surfactant will, will be effective and the recruitment of the surfactant from the underlying layers will be effective due to the presence of these surfactant proteins. That's the method. While compressing this will be invaginated and forming a second layer and third layer and more layers by this man. And here comes the importance of this surfactant protein. See, Initially, it was thought that only surfactant protein B and C helps in this, and this is the surfactant protein C. It acts as a lever, as a lever, يعني رافعة رافعة في الظروف العادية الرافعة دي ما بتشتغل إذا كأنها كأنها عارفين ال الشماسة اللي بتفرد مرة واحدة وبعد كده بتطبقها واحدة الفرد مرة واحدة دي تعتمد على وجود السيرفكتن بروتين C اللي بيشتغل مع السيرفكتن بروتين B هو رافعة بتؤدي إلى انخفاض اللير اللي جوا ثم ما تيجي تحتاج ترجع تفردها بتعمل كده فترجع تتفرد as a single layer and this is extremely important actually newer investigation showed that the other surfactant protein A, which was thought to be as essentially only as a defense mechanism, is part of this folding system during the compression decompression cycle of the respiratory cycle. So the protein mixture, it is the, the, the lipid protein, actually surfactant, should be considered as lipid protein mixture, not only lipid, because only lipid will not function. It should be uh, considered as a lipid protein. In the airway, it should be rapid, there should be rapid adsorption to the air liquid interface. Upon compression or exhalation, the lung surfactant must dramatically reduce the alveolar surface tension to near zero value, preventing the collapse of the alveoli with rapid respreading in during uh, the uh, work so these are the surfactant proteins B and C and their importance in the normal function. When considering the, the surfactant present in the market, it started by uh, the first surfactant to be available was called Exoserf. And I do remember when Professor Abu Khaled Khattab, Allah Yerhamu, uh, early in the 80s, in the 89, gave us a few samples of exoserve to try to use it for the first time. N now it is no more available in the market it was withdrawn, and these are synthetic surfactant, the colfoceril or exoserve, polmactant, KL4, the venticute, and luminectant. Animal-derived surfactant are the beractant <clears throat> or bovactant extracted from cow lung lavage fluid and cervanta extracted from minced cow's lung. Here is lung lavage. Here is minced uh, cow's lung. 
Barak uh, surf, which is extracted from minced calf lung. Uh, there is the calfactant extracted from calf lung lavage fluid and the poractant derived from the pig lung. <clears throat> this is the classification according to the methods of preparation. It is in animal origin manufactured by pulmonary lavage or by uh, manufactured from pulmonary tissue or mince lung. Natural surfactant of animal origin manufactured for pulmonary tissue with additives. These additives are uh, genetically produced proteins and added. These are not natural, but genetically produced and synthetic surfactant. And these are the names of the different preparations. Uh, it was shown, <clears throat> those who studied the different composition of surfactant showed that when comparing two preparations, Servant and Curoserf, uh, with others, they showed that they will contain less than 10% of surfactant protein B that is found in lung wash extract, present Infaserf, Albuffect, and Bless. And here is the comparison between both <clears throat> The, the, the different types of surfactant with available amount of surfactant protein B and C compared in the three preparations. So do not restrict the use or the thinking of surfactant as to be used in hyaline membrane disease or RDS syndrome. In any condition where there is surfactant malfunction or surfactant absence, the use of surfactant is important as in RDS, as in meconium aspiration syndrome and adult respiratory red distress syndrome, even in the COVID epidemic, it was used, the surfactant was used enormously in the management of uh, severely respiratory, uh, the, uh, the pneumonia associated with the COVID, where the surfactant was deteriorated by the viral and subsequent bacterial infection. Here is the alveofact. <clears throat> uh, uh, it is, it should be used as a bolus within uh, the first hour after birth, it is present in two forms, the 54 and the 108 milligram, easy to prepare with uh, very uh, easily to prepare. Uh, when comparing the doses, it was shown that using a high dose of surfactant, which is the 100 milligram per kilo, yield a better result. And this was shown previously in different preparation of surfactant. It is better to use the high dose, which is 100 milligram per kilo of the surfactant of, uh, uh, to improve the lung. Uh, so in the alveo effect, it is a 2.4 milliliter per kilo. Are we going to give a single dose or multiple doses? No, we think about multiple doses. And it was shown that using multiple doses result in the better uh, improvements especially you, we should have a low threshold for repeat dose should be uh, uh, in consideration when there is history of perinatal depression or infection. Why? Because both of these are associated with a systemic inflammatory response and the local inflammatory response in the lung. And as we have shown, surfactant uh, is an important anti-inflammatory uh, product, not only a surface tension load. Timing of surfactant, the best is to use it as early rescue, not the prophylactic and not the late, early rescue, and uh, or if the baby is in need for intubation, the delivery room use it in the early is uh, in the early period is whenever the patient is intubated is associated with a better response than rescue after deterioration of the patient. The alve effect is a very peculiar preparation of surfactant. It doesn't need a cold chain. It doesn't need a cold chain. And this is extremely important in Egypt when the failures of the cold chain are extremely important and it should be stored simply in, in the shelf in a room not more than 30 degrees centigrade, which is e e easily available. So <clears throat> what are the clinical studies? What do they show? The, uh, they show that the uh, alpha effect and the poractin group spent fewer days on the ventilator. There was no difference in the mortality or morbidity, but the need for ventilator was less. And the inhibition, it was shown that the presence of proteinaceous material or blood in the lung is associated with inactivation of the surfactant. But this was the least in the uh, alveo effect, the least degree of inactivation and least reduction of the lowering of surface tension lowering effect was in the uh, the uh, alveo effect compared with the other uh, surfactants. 
So a, a great advantage, no cold chain, long-term stability without refrigeration, no warming necessary, uh, remain stable after reconstitution. All of these are advantages of a natural product having the highest concentration of protein B and protein C, as we have shown it essential for the normal function of surfactant. And thank you for your patience. شكرا جزيلا استاذ دكتور هشام دو يو ريكومند دكتور هشام دو يو ريكومند في نيونيتا نيمونيا اللي هي نتيجه بريماتور ابشر اوف ميمبرين تو جيف اه طبعا ما هي اي ال 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 اي انفكشوس بروسس اي انفكشوس بروسس اي حاجه برو انفلاماتوري لللنج سترونجلي ريكومندد تو بي يوز ليه برو انفلاماتوري احنا شفنا سيرفكتن دي ان انتي انفلاماتوري افكت في كل الانفلاماتوري كونديشن بتاعت اللنج زي في الميكونيا زي في الاي ار دي اس زي في النمونيا ات از ان ادفانتج تو يوز ذا سيرفكتن اند مي بي ويل يوز يو كان يوز وان اور مور دوز سبيشلي ان ذا انفلاميشن از يو هاف سين ات از سترونجلي ريكومند تو يوز ات وين ذير از بريماتور رابشر اوف ميمبرين وين ذير از برينيتال سيبريشن السريشر تو يوز ذا سكند دوز شود بي يعني تستخدمها بسهوله خالص السكند دوز سكند وثيرد دوز الانترفال هاو ماتش يا فندم الانترفال بين الفيرست والسكند دوز هو الكلاسيك بيقولوا 8 ساعات ل 12 ساعه بس لو انت اديته ولقيت العيان بتاعك ما تحسنش من الفيرست دوز ما تستناش ال 8 ساعات وادي السكند دوز بعديها شورت بعديها علشان You can give. شكرا جزيلا جزاكم الله خيرا دكتور هشام اور ايمننت بروفيسور وفتح الله عليك وجزاكم الله خير.